yes hello everyone welcome to your physics classroom i am laval aditun your physics tutor to our returning viewers welcome back to our new viewers please do help to press the subscribe button turn on the notification button press the like and share button and put your comments in the comment box all right um you just have to know that uh, physics will soon be returned in the next few hours for this NECO 2025 so we are on the final revision and we have released all of videos and this is another version of the video we are releasing right away which we want you also to partake from it uh, looking at this video very well this is uh, section A before I go to section A you know section A you have to answer uh, number one compulsory and answer any other four now this question you are seeing here is talking about it should list components of a talking drum. These two components of a talking drum. And in my response, I am giving out as a response. I said component. They said you mentioned two. I am giving out three. I said drum head. The hourglass shaped wooden body and the leather tension cord. I've mentioned to you, you pick any two. You pick any two. I think that one is settled. I go to 1B. So, for the issue of 1B, it says distinguish between a camera and a projector. You know what camera can do? You know what projector can do? Projector projects camera. What captures, right? Alright, let's go to the answer. We said cap camera captures images. My projector projects images and that's it two different ways another one is talking about focus the light camera focus this income lights that is if it focuses income light that is when there is light that's where the camera will be able to show itself but for the show projector it is spreading out the outgoing light is spread it out and last thing I drop from one point there I say read an inverted image can be experienced on the film or sensor of camera but why does it happen on projector real images and magnified images on the screen so moving to 1c they give us a question saying that if one barrel is 159 thousand per barrel so how many barrel will give us to 163,000? That's the question all about. It's simple mathematics. And here in our own content, I answered it like this, that one barrel is equals to 159,000. So how many barrel will fit that? And here they got 1.65 barrel as number one is settled. I'm going to number two. Number two question is what is a thermocouple? Don't mind me. Number two question you are seeing currently on the screen may not be the real number two because I reshuffling it because the class true. But what matter with that you've been you've been taught, you've seen it, you've known it. No matter how the number it comes up, you continue. Alright, um whatever is a thermocouple. And I say thermocouple is a temperature measuring device made by what two different materials metals and we saw thermocouple now we said thermocouple is a temperature measuring device made by what made by joining two different metals at one end I think that was it to that and I move to the next question, it's a calculation question. And the calculation question is all about uh, look at it. They say resistant thermometer has a resistance of 10 ohms and 15 ohms at 0 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius, respectively. Calculate the temperature when the resistance is 11.50. And this is my response. I, I like doing things practically, that's why I use this type to answer it. And 
let you know I call this place the upper lower I call this place lower part middle part upper part which means my formula say middle minus lower over upper minus lower same thing here so after replicating itself I got this thing you also can put your sign comment section for me to see your answer pertaining to uh, question number two I'm going to question number three now. We have set the question one together. We have set the question two. Now I want to move to question three. The question three says something. What did you see? It says you state similarities between vectors and scalar. If you know what vector can do, so we can talk about. So definitely, we can talk about the similarities between vectors and scalar saying that uh, both of them are physical quantities both of them have magnitude we settle that like that but let me show you the way i wrote it so both have magnitude both are physical quantities both can be yet and they also parted and i move to 3b he said a block of mass on slides down a plane inclined at 30 degree to the horizontal you use the expression of the force acting on it along the plane along the plane see this is what we call along the plane you know on this thing we have two major force force being reacting downward mg cos theta and the one on the plane mg sin theta and that's what we need for this question just to let you know that uh, we have the two, I gave it out. So I move back to the original one we want to use because they said down the slope. So from there, I replace my theta with 30 degree. G has been given at 10. From there, I have this as my final response. I have set to question three. Now, I want to set to question number four. Question number four is talking about a wave. I'm just four, and this is the response. I say you they give the say you it give us a period of 0 0.3 seconds using a displacement time graph show the number of cycles the wave completed in 0 0.6 seconds and from there I also talk about the speed of the wave in that thing and you continue from there you find a wavelength all like that and we move to number 13 I think we have solved that one uh, before so let me stop here and i'll be expecting the next video please do go to press the notification button subscribe turn on the notification button put like and share button on and put comments in the comment box i said bye